Well, thank you, John. I appreciate the comments, and I think all of us have a deep concern about making sure that uh, people are engaged in, in an electoral process. And you're right, people are disengaged. If you even look at this election, um, even if you look at the provincial issues that are taking place, most people are not paying much attention. Um, maybe that's because we have a successful hockey team, uh, you know, and the Vancouver Canucks are doing really well. And uh, heaven help us, because they're going to start playing again this week. And, you know, it literally overshadows. But that is a really sad statement about how important people think it is to actually cast their vote. So I think there's a couple of things. First of all, in front of you today is the opportunity to consider a new way to vote in British Columbia, and that is with the use of STV. Now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, uh, gonna to say this about STV. Um, I'm proud to be part of a government that actually brought the Citizens um, Assembly on Electoral Reform to creation to ask British Columbians, what do you think about the current you know, first-past-the-post system? Maybe that's part of the problem. Um, and so the model that's in front of British Columbians today was created by them, not by us. And as you would remember, it actually didn't pass last time, and we said it's too close to just put this aside. So I think that's one way that we have an opportunity to look at the existing system and say, is it going to work? Now, I have concerns about it from the perspective of being an MLA who represents a very large urban-rural riding today. What's it going to look like if you, you have three MLAs trying to represent from the Alberta border to basically Houston? Um, it's really hard to talk about that kind of connectivity that you're talking about. So I don't think there's easy answers, John, but I look to the South and I look at what's happened with Obama, for example, and what he did to re-engage a nation. And that's what he did. Like him or not, you can choose what you think. But what he did was use technology, he used um, town hall, coffee parties, those kinds of things. But he engaged the youth of our country, of his country, and we need to do that too. So I think there's a role for it. Um, we've supported um, voting programs that, uh, that encourage students to take part in mock elections within their schools. Um, so I, I don't think there's an easy answer, but I do know this, that in countries today there are people who still risk their lives to actually cast their ballot. And so I think there's a lot of work to be done. I think examining the model is one of them. You have the choice in front of you uh, in, this, uh, in this election to make that decision. I would not be a fan, and I, I'm, I'm, I'm I'm not um, being critical of this. I would not be a fan of municipal elections once a year. Um, there is an important piece to continuity and to actually understanding your job well enough to do it. And certainly as a person who's been a cabinet minister, in the first year, um, you're basically just getting yourself um, you know, um, to have a good understanding of the process. So I think you have to engage the electorate, we have to teach our young people, and we do have to look at um, uh, ways to engage people in between those days of democracy, as you call them. But I think it's a great question, and it's a big concern for us.